Hello friends, in this uh, video I will be again solving few more problems using while loop. So the problem says that, uh, that how to evaluate or find out the factorial of a number. So what is factorial? So factorial of a number is given by n, n minus 1, n minus 2 up to 1. Okay. Now we can also write this in a reverse order so 1 into 2 into 3 up to mm, 10 okay so if you look then I can write this in the product form that is pi i is equal to 1 to n i that's it so I have to in this case so previous case it was sum okay now it is a product so how to do that let us take f is equal to uh, 1 and then run a while loop and also assume i to be 1 so while i is less or equal to n because we have to move up to up to n and what we have to do we have to multiply consecutively by uh, f by i so f is equal to f into i and then increment the i and that's it so so let's say n is equal to 3 we are saying so initially i was 1 so what will happen so f become 1 into 1 that is 1 then in next step i becomes 2 so f will be f that is 1 into 2 so it becomes 2 then i becomes 3 then f is equal to 2 into 3 that is 6 then i become 4 and it will stop okay so in this way you can write a program for finding the factorial of a number so let us jump to the uh, editor and write the code so uh, <coughs> so, so first uh, number and uh, I also and start supplying the number printf enter number enter number and then scanf as this is integer so to the address of n and then what then I will be as, uh, uh, starting with uh, 1 okay again I have to take f also where I will be multiplying everything so int f and assign it to 1 and then write loop that is while the i is less than or equal to the number do what f is equal to f times i and then increment i so i will be equal to i plus 1 so in this way you can check what happens to i and f in every iteration so printf percentage d this is for i and then f and then new loop so this is the only uh, new line and then for first it is i and then for second it is f that's it and let us run it so there is a mistake it is saying yeah i missed one comma here so enter n so let's say n is 5 okay so initially first i will become uh, i is uh, so let me do this to make it more understandable let me bring it here itself then it will be much more clearer okay now is 5 so when i is equal to 1 f is 1 when i becomes 2 okay so f should become 2 so what the problem i have done nothing i have done problem i am just printing it uh, uh, before so the better option is to print here itself so first i'll print uh, 
but uh, so this has to be printed just after this statement okay so again i'll do this let us take 5 so now it is up here so when i is equal to 1 f is equal to 1 when i becomes 2 f is equal to 1 into 2 that is 2 when i becomes 3 so f becomes uh, 3 uh, sorry 2 into 3 that is 6 when i becomes 4 f becomes 6 into 4 that is 24 and so on so in this way you will be in a position to find out the factorial of a number so if you come out of this particular loop and print the factorial you can simply say print f percentage uh, d factorial is equal to percentage d so in the first place what will be coming n will be coming in the second place f will be coming and that's it so if you run this program so 5 so it will be saying 5 factorial is 120 now is the program complete no there is a problem what will happen if you enter a number which is 0 okay let us run this let us run this program again and 0 so 0 factorial is 1 very good it is doing its job now what if the number is negative so let us run it and give negative number so it is again giving negative number is equal to 1 so this is not true okay then you have to slightly modify it by saying that if the number entered by the user is a negative number is less than zero then simply pass the statement saying that the number is negative okay the number is negative and if that is positive else then do all the task here Okay, uh, did I miss something? I hope not. So, if the number is negative, so it will be printing that the number is negative. For now, else it will be doing um, this for us. Okay, and then finally it will be printing this thing. But again, there is a problem because if the number is negative also. First, it will print this and this will print this. So, bring this print statement inside the else itself. Okay, now you run it. Let's say it is minus 5. So, it is saying the number is negative. If you run it once more, let's say it is 5. So, it is 120. If you run it again for 0, so it will be 1. So, in this way, you can write it. Okay, so that is how we can write a program to evaluate or print the factorial of a given number. Now, let us take another problem where you have to evaluate the, your, you have to develop your own power function. That means you have to, not function because function we have not studied so far. We have to find out, we have to write a program where A raised to the power b will be evaluated and printed so how that is done let's say you want to do 2 to the power 3 what does this mean this means 2 times 2 times 2 how many times we have done this 3 times if this is 2 to the power 5 so this will be done how many times power 5 times so can i write pi i is equal to 1 to 5 2. Yes, you multiply this to 5 times. So, this is the logic. So, now your loop will be running up to this. So, while this, uh, while i, I will be initializing with let's say 1, while i is, while i is less than or equal to b, do something. Do what? In, uh, let us uh, take here one power POW and assign it to 1. So POW will be POW times this number because this has to be repeatedly multiplied by itself. 
and then you do I plus plus. That's it. I'm done. So let us write this program. So number I have already taken. Okay. Now what I'll do is I'll take I and then that power and initialize power to 1 initialize i to 1 also and now I have to take two numbers a and b a and b so enter a and b for a raised to the power b and then new line and then here I have to pass on to the addresses of a and b so percentage d okay that's good now while this i is less than what power power is what b so less than or equal to b why equal because we are starting with i is equal to 1 if we are starting with i is equal to 0 then that will be less okay then what has to be done this power has to be multiplied by a every time we do this okay and then we have to increment i okay so after this you can simply say printf percentage d oh sorry percentage d raised to the power percentage d it will be percentage d that's it and in first place a will come second place b will come in third place pow will come so if you run this program there's a mistake so statement ending is not there semicolon is missing so if you run this program it is saying that i is not uh, redeclaration of i with no linkages so i have declared i previously and again i am trying to declare it so let us initialize and declare i here itself one okay now enter a and b let's say a is two and b is three so it will give me eight okay so in this way program works so this is a very simple program where you have to raise one number to the power another so as you know the number which has been raised exponent that much that many times you have to multiply the number so you have to run the loop that many times so i hope you understood the programs so in this particular uh, video till this point only thank you very much for watching it